I got four eggs, a glass of milk, and some ground beef mixed in. Um, I'm gonna work out in about an hour, so I don't wanna get anything too heavy in my stomach now, so we're gonna go with this for breakfast, and then we'll go work out, and then uh, we'll probably grab a bite to eat afterwards. You guys want to know a little trick here? Instead of waiting in line behind uh, a uh, stoplight, you just come up one more. So you've got to wait. And that's when you just go right in here. So as you can see, we're getting gas right now. We have what, like 13 miles till we're empty? I mean, you're not going to be able to read that at all. Maybe once we get in some shade here. Yeah, 13 miles till we're empty, but we made it. <clears throat> um, oh, God. Hello. Um, so we're going to get gas now. And then we're gonna go hit a workout. If you guys know who Bradley Martin is, he's been like issuing like these push-up challenges to all these famous YouTubers. So we're gonna go do our max push-up, see if we can do more than him. And before we do that, we got a sack of food right here that we're gonna go drop off. Um, I wasn't gonna eat it in my fridge, so I figure, you know, better instead of throwing it away, we're gonna see if we can find some people along the side of the road and hook up with some food. So we got that planned. Uh, yeah, I know. Let's just address the elephant in the room. Look at that. I don't know if you guys can see really well. I have no idea what happened. I just got done hiking like two days ago. It was either yesterday or two days ago. And my, all of a sudden I got back, I was on Snapchat and like I noticed while I was Snapchatting, like in the corner of my eye, there was something. So I was like, oh, I just like got a piece of paper stuck in it for some, I don't know what it was. But I guess like blood vessels popped in my eye. I have no idea why, but that's all right, that's okay. So we're gonna go do that. We're getting gas now, hit a workout, drop off some food. Let's have some fun. Now we gotta remove first. Now we select the grid. All right. Oh God. I would highly recommend never to vlog and get gas. Almost ate shit right there. All right. I always try to guess what it's gonna be. We had 13 miles still empty. I'm gonna say it's gonna be 3314. No, 3334. You heard it here first, 33, 34, that's the final guess. All right, folks, while we're getting gas here, I wanted to talk about kind of YouTube and the idea of posting like videos. And I mean, you see all this crazy stuff, people like doing all these crazy challenges and all this and this and this. And like, from an entertainment perspective, like YouTube is awesome, right? Like that's where I watch my videos. I don't really usually watch TV or anything like that. So I'll watch YouTube instead. But I was thinking like, five, 10, 15, even 20 years down the road, like, like I wanna create something like where I'm gonna be able to go back and look back like five, 10, like I said, 15, 20 years ago. And like, I wanna see what I was doing at this age, right? So like, the way I think about it is like, when you go back home, like your parents always show like these photo albums of like when they were growing up and like that's an awesome thing. Like, dude, like YouTube is our photo album for our generation. So like, I wanna go back and I wanna create stuff like this. So instead of trying to make it perfect and try all these cool transitions and stuff like this, like if it's raw, like instead of like worrying about like the color grade and all this other stuff, like that's what I wanna do. Like I just wanna create videos and whether entertainment value is there or isn't there like I'm gonna do the best I can to try to bring the best value I can for you guys but oh dude look at this 3406 we were close um, but I'm just gonna start posting more videos guys like I would always like play in my head 
I'm worried about making it really cool for you guys or not making it entertaining because I would compare myself to all of these YouTubers and be like, oh, well, I can't do this or this or I don't have that kind of a camera. Dude, we're just gonna have some fun. So hopefully you guys enjoy the videos and we're just gonna continue to post and we're just gonna, we're just gonna have some fun with it. So thanks for tuning in. Thanks for tuning in. What do you mean? You're tuned in. We're gonna continue this video. We're gonna have some fun today. Let's do it. You guys, I've been loving this song lately. For copyright issues, we're gonna keep it short and quick, but if you know the song, freaking respect. Let's, I'm. Gonna soak up the sun. And is there somebody right next to me with the window down? Yes, and that's okay. You gotta spread those good vibes, and I hate that I just said spread good vibes. I'm. Yeah, and that guy just, he I mean, he was just waiting. He had a green light for like 10 seconds, but he was just gawking at me, and that's fine, boys. Bringing on those good vibes. We're taking a little bit of a different way to work today, though. Or, for work, Jesus. Taking a little bit of a different way to the gym today, because always on this street, it's like a main, like, I would, I was on about, Hi, my name's Sarah Nielsen, and I don't know how to speak English. Um, it's not a highway, I was about to call it a highway, but it's like one of the main streets here in Springfield, and there's always usually a uh, couple homeless people or people who need um, some reinforcements, you know, if you will, some, some materials of the food kind, and they're always on this corner of the street when I go to work. Let me say work one more time. When I'm on the way to the gym, so when I go, I guess it'd be east, but now I'm going north on the road. Um, so hopefully they're on the corner and we can hook up with some food, like I said, but if not, that's all right. But there are like cold cuts and blueberries in there. So like, you can't really chill in the car too long. So, I mean, we'll see. Well, unfortunately, there's nobody here. There's usually somebody chilling like right here and you can even see like the signs that they have. So there's usually somebody chilling there, but not today. So I guess, I mean, we got a full tank of gas. We're gonna go around actually right now because like I said, there are like food items that need to stay cold or get eaten right away. We're just gonna go ahead and try to drive around for like five, 10, maybe even 15 minutes. See if we can get rid of this food first. But I mean, I don't know really where else to look. I usually sometimes, I can usually find some people around campus too. So we're gonna see if we can't find some people there, I guess. Come on YouTube, copyright me. Come at me, come at me, bro. I was just noticing this actually. Um, anytime I'm back home, when I say back home, like when I mean like up in Iowa, I always wave like this to people. Like I always do the, just the Iowa good old one finger wave, right? Not only today, but like, I'm just thinking like in general, dude, nobody waves down here. No one does. So now our next mission, not only to drop off this food, but we're gonna, gonna try to get somebody to wave at us before we head to the gym. And that's the goal. And we better hurry up because this pre-workout is kicking in. And let me tell you, it feels like there's nails inside my body. All right? So we're gonna try to get someone to wave A, drop off this food, get a fat freaking pump, boys. Let's go ahead. Oh, we got a tango. Come on. And nope, that's all right. Here we go. We're on a mission. Let's do it. Come on, folks. Give me something here. No cash. Come on. Oh, got him! Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. You, you, you. This guy's conducting my music. Love it. Oh my god, that was... The beat dropped perfectly. Yeah, yeah, uh, uh. You guys, I think we finally found somebody that could use some help here. So. All right, we're gonna see if this guy needs some help or wants some food. Here we go. Hey, my man. You want some food? I got you, bro. 
Don't get run over here. <laughs> That's how we do it. That's how we get that done. So not only did we get a wave, we got rid of the food. This pre-workout, I feel like I gotta, my skin is peeling off, so we're gonna head to the gym right now. Um, as long as you give, you can never lose. If you give more than you receive, folks, you can never lose. See you, man? As long as you give more than you take, you always win. So let's go hit a fat workout, and I feel like my tire just fell off there, but it's okay, it's just these are roads in Springfield, so. Let's go see how many push-ups we can do. All right, we're here, right? So Bradley Martin, not only Bradley Martin, but any, I mean, I just realized looking at the camera this way, my eye looks so fucking scary. Um, so let's just do this. All right, Bradley Martin or any subscriber of mine, let's just do a little push-up challenge here. Um, he's going, like I said, if you guys follow Bradley Martin or anything like that, he's doing like push-up challenges um, to see how many push-ups are basically if somebody can do a push-up longer than him. Push-ups longer than him or more anyway. So we're gonna see how many we can do and this is the number to beat and that goes out for any subscriber. I challenge all of you watching this video, see what you got for the push-ups, all right? So we're gonna knock them out real quick. Um, I'm gonna listen to some music because we're gonna try to get, I saw the video with him and Logan Paul and somebody put in the comment section like, Logan got like 62, Bradley got 50. I mean, go big or go home. We're gonna go try, we're gonna go triple digits. That's our goal here, triple digits, all right? So, let's get after it. Evans. Evans. Let's do it. All right, well, as you guys can tell, we didn't get triple digits this time, but we had a fat, I mean, you know what, no excuses. We, uh, I think we got 80, something like that. I don't know, but fuck, that's awful. All right, let's go get this chest workout. Well, let's just go rock climbing all day today, and the doctor was like, hey man, like, I wouldn't do that. Don't put any more strain on your eyes because like what that'll happen is it'll cause the rest of your eye possibly to get blood in it. And I just realized, so I was doing this, the lighting's not the best in here, but you can kind of tell it's starting to pool on that side. And also this side's starting to get a little bit in there. So probably not the smartest idea, but you know what, that's okay. I can't film in here either. So I'll let you guys go Got back from working out. Um, we're gonna make a protein drink and then we're gonna head to the library actually. I'm gonna study for not a test necessarily, but um, we only have two tests this semester because it's like a month long class over the summer, but we've already had one and the next one I wanna do well in. So we passed the freaking class, right? Otherwise then I gotta take it at four months. Otherwise I have to take like the four month version of it. I guess it'd be August, June, April, March, April, May, June, July. August, September, October, November, December. Pretty much four, five, four to five month class during the normal semester if I don't pass. So we're gonna make sure that we pass this class. Uh, it's X Fizz. It's a brutal one, but um, so we're gonna go to the library once we get the shake done, shower, then head there to study for a little bit, and then we're gonna get this video uploaded for you guys. Um, that's the plan, you know. I didn't want to. I originally got like probably a month and a half, two months ago, I got 132 push-ups. This time we got like 80, I think, like I said, but that's all right. Um, 
and just room for improvement, right? So we're gonna go to the library once we get showered up here and then get this video up for you guys. I'm gonna have to, I just realized like talking out loud, it's 3.20 right now. The library throughout the week and on Sunday closes at midnight, like the computer lab. I can't upload with this laptop, like it's a surface, it just, it takes forever and it like, it doesn't have the processing power to get like videos uploaded in time, but the computer lab um, luckily does, it has like a desktop Mac computer, so that's what I've been using. So in order to get this video up or some vlogs up for you guys, we're gonna have to like cut videos off around maybe like five, six, seven o'clock at night. So that's what we're gonna have to do to get these up and that's fine and that's okay. So um, that's what we have going on. So we're gonna shower, hit the library up, and then study for a little bit. Also, blender bottle goes in first. You always wanna add just a pinch of milk. Otherwise, like that much milk. Otherwise, your protein, when you add your milk or water, is just gonna stick to the bottom. So there's one, boys, come on. And we need a little bit more than that. There we go. All right, so we got two scoops down the hatch and we're gonna add a little bit of creatine as well. So this already has like 1.5 grams of creatine, so we're just gonna add five more to it. And there we go. All right, so we got creatine, protein powder. And let's go milk right about, right about, oh, Matthew. You don't wanna fill it up all the way because if you do, then when you shake it, it's not gonna be able to mix really well. Like there's not a lot, I don't know the science behind it folks, but that's what I do. So you wanna leave a little bit left and then you just, <laughs> ham, it's like a little mini workout. So. Oh, just realized I better not bump the table, otherwise this camera is gonna be dead. All right folks, well. That's what we got. That's what we got. I swear to God, every time, if you guys watched like our other one, like Gym Talk um, with me and Grant, I don't know how to speak when the camera's on. So there you go. Just got done shaking this up. We're gonna drink it, hit the shower, change, hit the library up. So let's do it. Evidence. Evidence. Let's do it.